What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some Made in Abyss. Man, it feels good even saying that. It has been years since season one, right? Now, before we get into anything, I do want to let you guys know just a few quick bullet points. One, I did react to the movie. I am currently editing it right now. So by the time you see this, hopefully it should be up at the same time. So make sure you check out my reaction to the movie. Two, I did react to season one of Made in Abyss a long, long time ago. It has since gotten copyrighted since it was my old editing style, but I will be re-uploading those in the next upcoming weeks. So look out for that as well. And three, with the first and last episode of every season of every show on the channel we do here, the full length version, which is normally available exclusively on Patreon, is available for free for everyone. So click the link in the top of the description. When you're done with that, come back here for the review and everything like that. And if you enjoy that, consider checking out and keeping the, P the Patreon in the future. Some great benefits over there. But from where we are right now in the story, I am Oh my lord, the most excited and nervous I've ever been. And I say that after just watching the movie, which was the roller coaster of all roller coaster of emotions. Like I said earlier, check out that Patreon for the full uncut early access to the other shows I'm watching. Let's hop right on into this. Made in Abyss, Season 2, Episode 1. Um, the title of the season is called The Golden City of the Scorching Sun. Or is that the title of this episode? I am not sure. I cannot tell. No, this one is called The Compass pointed to something. I am very excited. This is a new character, but that is with the same compass Rico had that points towards the middle of the abyss, right? Oh my god. This is how we're starting season two? Wazukian. Wazukian. Okay. So they are following that compass, which. Either this is in the past, or this is another version of the relic that Rico had. The Three Sages of Ganja? Sounds like some of my friends, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, so far he doesn't seem like a bad dude. He eats fucking bugs and stuff, but compared to the other guy, this guy's a fucking saint. Bailoff. He has a very cool design. So this guy is supposed to be that dude, huh? Does this dude actually have powers like that? Like foresight? And yes, give me more info on this, these sages. I'm so surprised we haven't seen Rico, Ragger, Nanachi at all. Like, I'm so intrigued. I mean, I, I just, I know, I hate that they think like that. I can agree with that. Aha, uh -huh, I like that. Not in the eye in a physical sense. It's all subjective. Beauty's in the eye of the beholder. This guy sounds like Kirsch from Black Clover. He has a very deep concept of beauty. Mm. Ooh. Ooh, that's kind of a bar. Where the light no one has found before exists in the deep, dark darkness, you know? So far, I like Bailoff a lot. Waco. Damn, I didn't get that second name. So far, we got Wazukian, Bailoff, and Vueko. But the deep sea, especially during storms like this, just terrifying. One of the scariest places, you know? With an unnavigable patch of sea. So this is the Abyss Island. I literally got goosebumps. If there's one thing Made in Abyss has, it's fantastic music. Always. 
That Hane Zeve song, Karadina, whatever it's called. You guys know what song I'm talking about? Is this how, like, Delving first started, or... I'm so curious. With no Belchero on the outside, there is no city. These are the first people to inhabit the Abyss Island. Are you serious? I love how we're getting a flashback at the beginning of Season 2, man. Especially because we left off right at a... You know, going down to one of the most pivotal spots. I literally said this in my movie reaction, how I wish we had, like, flashbacks going to the beginning of the abyss. We have natives? I'm assuming they haven't seen any iron or steel before. They're obviously still in the Stone Age. With how primitive they are. Ah, uh, understandable, understandable. The compass, which we got from someone who was in the abyss, right? So they might recognize it as a relic already. Okay. I'm glad we're able, we're willing to do that. After the trauma that they went through, I understand it, you know. Lies within the darkness, exactly what you said. I mean, no shade or no disrespect. I had the same issue with Kurapika at the beginning of Hunter Hunter. Ooh, I wonder who this girl is. Can you guys tell me, is our main character with the compass, with the Todoroki hair, are they a, a girl or a boy? Because right now, you know, when they're yet that, when they're that young, the, the voice doesn't really help me, you know. The capital of the unreturned. This is the girl, the native girl. She wants to come. She's been watching. Wow, if you're infertile, you get exiled to the abyss? That's scary. Alright, so we have a new addition to the group. A little native girl who's exiled. I feel bad for her, but I feel bad for a lot of people in this, in this world, you know. What? She seems to be saying he shouldn't do that. Oh, he already hit the ascension, the strain. Technically, this is the first layer, and they have no idea about the strain of the abyss, you know? He ran up that hill, too. With a language barrier in between them as well. And even they don't know the full depths of the abyss. You know, they know, obviously, they've been through it and they know a lot, but it's... Yeah. Oh, the closest translation. So they're the ones who took the translation from them. The the pit will eat you up. I love that. I can already tell, especially if we're focusing on previous people who don't know the abyss, like Rico and Regdu. And it's their first expedition down into something as crazy as a golden city. This is going to be a dark-ass story. Ganja, the Suicide Squad. We're already in the pit of the giants. A goblet's a goblet of the giants. Are we in the fifth layer? We're at the Edo front already? Did they have a white whistle? Or how were they able to get in here? They went to the sixth layer? Okay, that transition was beautiful. Because that's exactly where we left off in the movie. And I am so... But hurt and thankful, because I was like, I want to see in here so bad. I love how we have Prushka and Mania with us as well. Prushka, obviously, you know. Me too, Nanachi. Me too. Aww. Heck yeah, I gotta get some fur loving when we can. <laughs> He really is like obsessed with your furriness. Oh my god. Like I love elevators with windows already, but being in this kind of oh my god. Alright, fucking Qui-Gon Jin. There's always a bigger fish. Oh my god. This, the sea of corpses, right? Is the 
the title of this layer. Look at the amount of bones in the background. This is wow. Like I've had, I've been watching a lot of videos on the deep dark abyss of our ocean because we're finally starting to get explore that like as I would like to. And I just got goosebumps from how much this looks like it, you know. I mean, that's a valid point. I agree, especially it'll cover the cell, the smell, but let's not focus too much. I did not need the sound effects. I did not need these sound effects. What the fuck? Not the hot, steamy shit. Thank the Lord. Get my mind off of that. Oh my God. It, we're still in water, but it feels like we're in fucking heaven. With floating... It looks... A golden city. I wonder if them in the past actually found it. Because even if it was there, it might not be here presently. You know, this was... Yeah. Capital of the Unreturned, the sixth layer. Oh my god. Don't end the episode here. <sighs> All right. For an entry episode to a season, I am more excited than I have ever been. Don't get me wrong, like I was expecting us to like leave off where we were with Rico Reg and Nanachi exactly how we did, but with we did like they did it in an even better way than I could have thought of, with the transition being from the old people to the new people of currently doing it, which I like the old people as well really goes to show that the i don't even know i wish there was a time like an actual calendar like a date so i knew exactly what time period we were in but you have these people who are clearly in you know have revolutionized they have weapons they have steel iron and they go to this island where they hear about this story and the people there are primitive but obviously they know about stories tales about this abyss what it can do they know somewhat it's very interesting how women who are infertile or I'm assuming have certain medical conditions, people in general are exiled to the abyss. It's kind of like, hey, you're useless to us, but at least go maybe discover something you can find. I, don't, I have no idea, but I love this duality of we're seeing it in the past and we're seeing it in the present. The first people to, I'm not the first people, but one of the first people to go down there because it might be completely different from them it might be the exact same you never know we could run into the remnants of them like that's what i it's so well connected and i specifically said in the movie like because this abyss has been here for let's say thousands of years i would love to go in the past and see when it was at its peak filled into the brim with life and this that and the other like oh my the, hmm and our main character i have to assume she's a girl i'm sorry if that's presumptuous of me it seems to be and that was just fucking disgusting at the beginning with that with that dude you know with the brand everything i don't even want to talk about that but so far we have our main character who could be waco i don't know because the girl who looked like marok and ozen's camp came up and said waco come on we gotta come see this um but we have beloff who is their translator very intellectual i like him a lot so far very curious about this like it seems like it's kind of like grayscale from a uh, game of thrones but i don't know if that, is that a disease a birth defect very curious and then we have wazukian who is a very eccentric outgoing person who eats bugs and is, has a gift to be able to always find what he looks for and they're there it's not like we're on the way anymore like i was shocked they're at the Edo front they made it to the capital of the unreturned the sixth layer the golden city but the main character who was narrating while rico reg and nanachi were there which i love by the way uh, made sure to specifically say, but we were, but we were never able to come back. Huh? Like I'm so curious, so so very curious. This, they're the sages of Ganja. That's what I'm gonna start calling myself, guys. I'm a sage of Ganja, just so you, <laughs> just so you know. But damn, I'm. Mm, we only have what? Is it 12 episodes for the season? I, I'm very 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 excited. Hopefully you guys are as well. If you are, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell. Check out that Patreon if you guys want to keep the full length version, all that jazz. Um, don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. I'll see y'all in the abyss. Have a great day. Peace out.